Hey everybody, welcome to this uh, uh, shortwave radio channel. And uh, you know what? This morning I'm I'm just amazed because I'm thinking of you know everything that you can uh, listen to on the, on today's radios, and especially one of the things that I find really really interesting is uh, you know if we look at old and new technology, it's just so cool. I'm I'm a sucker for old technology. I mean, I like old technology. I like old radios. You know, like this grunting. But, you know, it's so amazing when you think about it. This was built 48 years ago. Um, and 40, almost 49 years ago. And um, pretty much today's technology, which is this small little thing here, or this other small little portable receiver. And you're like, wow. Technology has gone such, but such a long way. And I was thinking that uh, this week I'll do a little series. I'm going to bring out my Grenig G5 this week. And we're going to do a test from this old Grenig and my Grenig G5. Of course, in the ease of tuning, the Grenig G5 wins because it has, you know, a digital readout. Makes it much easier to tune around the signal. You know, you punch in the frequency you want to listen to and works really, really great. But um, I think it's going to be fun. We're going to put the same condition, so this radio and the Grand G5 will be plugged in on the same uh, antenna. And we will be taking a look at their performance. You know, a radio that, basically my Grand G5 is what, maybe um, 6 or 7 years old, maybe a little more, close to 10 years old. Uh, this thing is, well, you know, close to 50 years old. And uh, we'll just, you know, examine and uh, compare. I think it's going to be a fun thing. So I'm going to do a little series will be like old versus new Grendig and see, uh, you know, what it is like. Of course, we got to understand one thing is that the Grendig for the past 10 years is not what the Grendig is when that was built. That was built by Grendig officially. And um, today's Grendig is really just a shadow of what it was. It's simply a brand that was purchased by other uh, companies. But it's going to be an interesting... Uh, um, look, I think at, you know, old versus new. I think it's going to be fun to check it out for sure. And, uh, of course, also this week, finally, the review of this, um, Grandic Satellite Transistor 6001 or Grandic Satellite 210. And, of course, the reviews of the Ethan Mini and of the Traveler, Traveler 3, uh, coming up. So you guys will have a clear idea of what I think of all of these radios. So hope you enjoy, and this week uh, I will be posting a lot of videos on the channel. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.